All right, so in this video, I'll be covering the installation process of the XRT Engineered Solutions heat exchanger. And some of the benefits that we found from going to this cooling system is that we're able to run more even cooling temperatures, as well as we've doubled the capacity of our coolant. And the last thing is we've noticed uh, less steam coming from the bike, which means less chance of icing up your goggles. So in the kit, it'll include the heat exchanger, which they uh, come in three sizes, small, medium, and large. And here I've got the uh, large cooler. You can get their optional uh, coolant bottle, or you can use your existing radiator. You'll also get some silicone hoses. You'll need to source your own lengths of silicone hose, as well as some fasteners that I'll discuss. So the first step is to pull the tunnel and uh, begin looking at the fitment of your heat exchanger. And when you do this, you want to make sure that you're considering where exactly your gas tank is going to be mounted, your storage bag, as well as uh, how you plan to route the coolant hoses. So once you have it figured out where you want it, you'll then pencil in where the inlet and outlet ports are on the tunnel, and then drill some pilot holes. We used a step bit to finish drilling the inlet and outlet ports. That made quick and easy work of making nice, perfect round circles. You'll then take the heat exchanger and the tunnel and just check them one last time for final fitment. Make sure there's no clearance issues. So there's a lot of ways to fasten the two together. You can use rivets. Uh, we chose to use these riveted nut plates. This allows us to actually remove the heat exchanger in the event that we crack it or that we want to remove it before we sell the kit. And uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can fasten these. This is just the way that we chose to do it. Uh, again, it just makes for ease of being able to pull it apart, pull it off easily. And once you have it attached to the tunnel, you'll then reinstall the whole assembly back onto the kit and just look it over one last time, make sure everything's lined up correctly. So the coolant bottle, I used a riveted nut gun to install these threaded inserts. And you'll wanna run this coolant bottle behind a metal rad guard. They mount up nicely on a metal radiator guard and they also uh, you know, offer more protection for the coolant, coolant bottle. But make sure that you position the bottle somewhere that you can easily access the, the cap and so pictured here, I have uh, the blue line indicating the bypass coolant. And when it leaves the thermostat, it runs up to my heated handlebars, back down to my heated carb, and then finishes near the water pump. There is a port on the side of the coolant bottle that allows you to bring the bypass coolant there. That's another option. I just have mine configured this way. Um, so there's, there's options there for you. Uh, when you have it finished and fully mounted to the radiator guard, I place a little bit of rubber between the radiator guard and the bottle just to help with abrasion and vibration. Uh, but that's what the finished product looks like. Here is the finished tunnel heat exchanger, and you can see where I've routed the coolant hoses underneath some of the subframe to help protect the routing of the hoses. I also wrapped some of the hose with uh, heat exhaust guard to protect it in areas where there's some excess heat. And overall, we've been really happy with the setup. Um, this has been able to maintain nice and even temps and has even done so on the trails. And so overall, moving forward, I think this is gonna be the new way for us to keep our bikes cool. And I'm uh, pretty stoked about the product overall. So thanks for watching and if you have any questions, Please let me know down in the comments. Thanks.